In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can perform YOLO v4 object detection inference in very few lines of code using the Python package Quick AI. So, let's get to it. <laughs> Alright, so the first thing that you have to do is come to the Quick AI GitHub repository. Once you're there, you can scroll down to about here where it says how to use. From here, you can download the weights from this link, and once you click that, the download will start. And you can go ahead to wait for that to download. I'm just going to pause the recording. And once the download is done, you can go ahead and extract it. Once you have extracted it, you can come to the examples folder in the repo and find coco.names. Once you find that file, you can click on raw and then you can save this file to the same folder where you saved and extracted the weights previously. Once you have saved this file, we can come on over to your terminal and since this is very few lines of code, we can do this right in the shell. So CD to where you have all those files, for me they're in downloads, so I'm going to CD in downloads, and if you have a virtual environment, make sure to activate it. I have one, so I'm going to activate it now. And once you have it activated, you can see that we are ready to begin. So, let's first start with an image. So, let's go ahead and start the shell and we're going to do from quick AI import YOLO v4 it's case sensitive so make sure that your case is matching and while that imports we're actually going to download the sample image that we're going to use so you can come back to this examples folder find kite.jpg and then you can go ahead and download this Alright, so I've gone ahead and downloaded that, and it's saved to the same folder as all the other files. So now that we're here, just go ahead and type YOLO v4, two parentheses around it like that. And the media type argument should be equal to image, and then the image argument should be equal to kite.jpg, because that's the name of the image. Weight should be equal to where those extracted weights are. So that's a, in the checkpoints folder and inside that folder there is regular YOLO v4 and YOLO v4 tiny. For this demo I'm going to be using the regular YOLO v4 so I'm going to put the path to that so checkpoints slash YOLO v4 dash 416 and once you have that typed in go ahead and hit enter. And once you hit enter, it's just going to initialize the model, which will take a few seconds. Just has to load in everything from TensorFlow. And here you can see the image is opened with all the bounding boxes drawn around it. So, that was that. That is how we did it on an image. Now let's do it for a video. So once again, you can X out of that and just minimize this. Come on over to the examples folder once again and download road.mp4. You've downloaded road.mp4. You can come on over back to your terminal here and the syntax is very similar to the previous command. It's just that we have to change this image argument to called to be called video, and then the file name to road.mp4. Media type will be set to video, and now while here I'm giving a path for the video. If you want to run it on your webcam, you can just put the webcam integer there. So if you have one webcam, you could put zero. If you have two webcams and you want to use a second one, you can type one and so on. And not as a string, just as a raw integer. So I wanted to run it on my webcam, I would put it like that. But since I have the recording going, I'm just going to run it on this file. 
So now that that is set, let's go ahead and hit enter. And in a few seconds, the video should be loaded up. You can see it has finished the detection of the video. Let's run it again to see if I can catch it. And you can see once the video is done, it says video has ended or failed. It has ended in this case. The video is very small. I'm going to see if I can catch it playing. It happens very quickly. But what you can see is that the FPS is very high. And that's very good because it's very close to high FPS here. You can see the video here, wherever it is. There, here, I'll just run it again. Come on. And it's about to start. You can see the video right here. You can see it going, and it's done. So again, if you look at the FPS log, you can see it's mostly high. Occasionally, it drops. And I'm pretty sure part of that is because I'm recording right now, and it's using the NBank encoder. But if you're not recording, you should get better results. But yeah, so that's how you do YOLO v4 inference on image, video, and webcams using Quick AI. Um, if you haven't checked out Quick AI, please come over to GitHub and star it. It is a package that I have made that makes it very easy to use state-of-the-art machine learning models. If you're new here, please subscribe and enable notifications, and I'll see you in the next video.